<laughs> Sons of bitches. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while, man. I guess it's been like a, like nine months or something. No, a long, almost a year. We haven't done this in almost a year. <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember the last time, but it was... Rest in peace to my guy Shane. I think it was like last November or December. Like, end of November, beginning of December. Last time we did one. But I remember us doing this same thing. And I think we were riding from... Sacramento? Sacramento to Oakland or some shit. We was doing something, I forgot. Yeah, we was talking about indoor weed versus outdoor weed. Oh, shit! And I, I still love outdoor. I remember that one. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. Oh, man, the weed is out of control. We, yeah, I mean, weed at this point is really just I mean, tobacco. Yeah, weed is tobacco. Yo, anybody in here, y'all can just you know fire away with them questions if you want, man. We just I'm just doing this uh, smoking buckets. I'm I'm leaving tomorrow. And oh yeah, that's right. You, yeah, he's back to Cali too. Damn, that's right. I forgot all about that and shit. Yeah, I forgot all about that. I, don't remember. I guess we could talk about what we were talking about last night. I, I really forgot all about that. I hate it. Yeah, I know. I'm like, oh shit, it seemed like you're gonna be here forever. Like, I know, I be kind of wanting. My brother here, it's like, it reminds me when we were young and shit. Like, I be kind of wanting to stay in Jersey. But, um, you know, Cal hey, California. Gotta keep it moving. But, like, yo, I, maybe we talk about what we were talking about last night, man, when we was at the studio, man. Um, we was just talking about Whoopi Goldberg, man, and uh, you know what I'm saying. And Whoopi, oh, I'm gonna get because it's not go Charles the White. It's, it's not about Whoopi. Whoopi Goldberg. It's about all the people that think like that. You know what I mean? Um, when you talk about like one individual, it's not like they just represent one individual. Exactly. That's what I. That's I think the point I was trying to make as well. Where I'm saying like, yo, look, I, I'm not. Oh my God, it's so many words to use and so much. I'm not trying to judge anybody for how they feel in a sense because I'm going to feel how I feel and I'm not really going to give a fuck how you do. So if you feel a certain way, I can't give a fuck how you feel. Like, you know what I mean? So what I'm saying in that sense is I think plenty of people are very on some race war shit. I think, I think race the That term. was a microcosm of a race war. That's yeah. what that was. I think, I mean, I think, um, Race determines a lot of what people do, but to just to uh, really so people know what you're talking about, man. I guess you could talk about what Whoopi Goldberg did. Well, right, I, I I didn't, I don't know. I look, I look, I'm like anybody. I looked on the Vlad, and it was, you know, I was on Vlad TV. It said a, it said a headline like, like Whoopi gets a gold folding chair, and you know, remembrance of the Montgomery brawl. And I said, damn, you know, that's crazy, man. Like, you know, like. I didn't say it's it's not crazy. You can get a fucking chain of anything. You can do anything out here, man. But what I'm saying is it's crazy that the fact that this race war brews and everybody acts like it doesn't. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, like this race war brews. It really does. It's, it's bubbling under the surface and, and everybody just acts like that's... No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> and you're like, wait, wait. This is obviously, and, and, and it's from both sides. It's not from just one side no more. Maybe it was one time. See, that's what he's always going to run to. It might have been one-sided at one point. It ain't one-sided no more. Yeah, I don't know. If it, I don't know, man. I, once people got into groups, I don't know if it's ever been one-sided from that point on. Right? Like, what, what the fuck? That's obsolete. Yeah, I don't know. So... Whoopi Goldberg had a had a had a chain that was like commemorate. It was like a folding chair to like. I guess one of the white people got hit with a folding chair. That's all I assume. Yeah, you seen it, right? I saw pieces. The dude hit the. Oh, he swam across the motherfucker. Yeah, the Get dude. To the fight. Nigga, the, guess what? All niggas should swim. I I could swim my whole life. All niggas should be able to swim. Are you out your mind? All right. All right. Yeah. So like. <laughs> The dude hit the, right. the lady in the head with the chair, you know, and um, I guess, you know, she, like, wants to embolden that as a statement. And, um, you know, uh, that's just, you know, like you were saying, like, you said she she is basically saying she hates white people. Yeah. But She's it, trying to say, like, like I'm, the, I'm black and I'm on the black side. But it's, <laughs> it's contradictive because her last name is Goldberg and she chose that name. 
very American. Very, um, what I want to say is, you know, like American is like this. Driving in a German car. Smoking weed from Mexico. Sneakers from Taiwan. <laughs> That's America. People got to remember that part. But what I'm saying is, is yes. I don't like this old nigga. Let it be known. You know what I mean? That's why he's, that's why, that's why that's a classic line. I hate Whoopi Goldberg's lips because they black. <laughs> that's a classic line. The Keenan Ivory Wayne niggas, they, they didn't do that. They knew. They, they, they was, you know, they was on a, they was in the nerve. I mean, not only, her name is Karen Johnson. Is it? Yeah. In the movie She's a Karen? Her name's Karen. She's a Karen? Her name's Karen Johnson. Mm. So, I mean... Whoopi Goldberg changed her name to Goldberg. But she's a Karen. Yeah. You know, that's a whole thing, right? Ain't that a whole thing? Yeah, but... Like on the next yeah, shit, look at this thing. Karen. It's usually a white woman that's right? like, a, like a middle-aged mom. Oh. But like... Mm. But yeah, right? So her, yeah. Name, her name is Karen Johnson, but like... She had a baby with a white dude. Then we go there. Then it gets deeper. Yeah, I mean, we. I think we... See, yeah, you know what I mean? Then it gets deeper. I mean, her Johnson and the dude's, her last name, her real name is Karen Johnson. And the dudes that she was with is Ted Danson. I'm, I mean, I don't even, my brother's really like lightning me right now. I'm like, I knew something of that. But I'm like, wow, he's putting it all, he's putting all the fucking pieces together right now. I'm I mean. Like, God damn. A lot but, of the, yes, I knew that. I knew a lot she, of the people with man in their name or son in their name be crypto Jews or Jew. You know what I mean? They be. They're, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether they're whether they dark or white, you know, or dark yeah. or light, they be... Like Cohen and shit like that. Yeah, like yeah, like yeah, Cohen and Khan or whatever, like, that. Yeah. that's like a name, you know what I mean? But I'm saying, the, the these motherfuckers, I feel like it's a cloak, I feel like a lot of times when people say, like, this person's black and this person's white, because a lot of times they really, you know, they, they just... Oh. They're from the same tree. So it's one is a graft, and one is like Whoopi Goldberg isn't the graft. Ted Danson's the graft. You know what I mean? And she's like the original Jew. Nah. Or, oh, you wait, hold up. Wait, yeah. go ahead. No, that's what I was gonna say. No, that's it. But did, did you get what I was saying last night too? What's that? Where world, world, you watching it? Anybody watching? It does not matter. I, I, I'm pretty confident in in my theory. You have to be one of two shades. You're in, you, you're literally light, or you're dark. That's it. You have to be one of the two. It's a, it's a Am I crazy? No, I mean for the I mean really, I mean for the most part it's how it is, man. I mean people people with dark skin or light skin. So why would we be beefing or why would it when you have to be one? You have to be one or the other. Like period. You have to be light or you have to be dark. Now we can get into mocha, cinnamon complected. This one's blah blah blah. We can get into all of that. We can do that dumb shit because we do it all day. Yeah, I mean But you have to Right. Once you reach a certain level of pale, you automatically light. You know what I mean? And if you reach a certain level of brown, you automatically dark. It's like I don't get it. I don't understand yeah. why we even why does he why it's even a conversation? Yeah. Why it's even a thought? Because like, yeah. you have to be one or the other. But every face comes in every shade. You know what I mean, like you know, if you see the world enough, you, or you just you know, you can see it in America too. Well, shit, they call him Tyrone. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> but yeah, 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 hell yeah, you're right. Like, it's, you know, there's an Indian man in fucking India right now that fucking looks just like me. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Or whatever. And, you know what yeah, I mean, yes, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a dude in Pakistan who's albino. He looked like he's from Ireland. It's a motherfucking. I'm gonna look at yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was, I mean, I don't want to cut this off. If you're going in there, I'm going to go in there with you. I should just ask some questions, though, until we get done with this. Yes, sir. And that's it. That's it. So, you on the last step? Oh, that's my man from Fresno, right? 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Don't press no. Yeah, man. Matter of fact, get him on the get him on the live, man. Get him on the <laughs> get him on the live. You on the live right now. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We had the liquor store. You see what it is? Um, yeah, it's it, <clears throat> right now, right? Boss, we was doing a live. We talking about all types of things. We talking about complexions and how people get crazy over race and shit. I know. Right? He said, I, so I, know, I, know. I know, I know. They get crazy over <laughs> race and shit. Meanwhile, this is my nigga right here. This is, like, I don't look at him no different than I look at myself. Yep. Shukriya. Thank you. All right, Shukriya. boss. Have a good one, man. We feel more than you than you guys. You probably do. You probably do. But it's new. It's new. We've been feeling it for years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So man, yeah, if y'all got some questions or whatever, <laughs> yeah, that was anything. Right? You can fire those away. I mean, we just do one that it really is alive. It's alive. Man. I don't have much time. I'm gonna be back in California. What time you got? I think it's at 1 p.m. Oh shit. Yeah. People always want to jump in the video. Just ask a question. You're not getting in the video. <laughs> wait, wait, jump in the video. How you do that? You can uh, split the screen. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, no, I'm not gonna, no, I'm not in a Wi Fi. It's gonna be all it's grainy. I'm not trying to do that. So, racism is kind of crazy at this point. It really is. I mean, Niggas ain't realize that the money, the green is what, man. I mean, like, like I'll be like, yo. But anyway, uh, I don't know. I just think it's crazy and shit. But, you know, I deal with it every day. I deal with it every day. Some form of it. I mean, when I talk to people about race, I, I, I feel like a lot of what they do is, like, unconscious. They don't really know that they're doing it. You know what I mean? They know, but it's not like they haven't put words to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they know. They're not articulated. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people... Uh, have automatic responses to dark skin and automatic responses to light skin. You know, it's just automatically ingrained. It's like, like automatic. I'm gonna treat ingrained. this person this way because of this. And then, and, and it, unless they go over and like, you know, what I mean, over fucking hell and high water to fucking cr change that to cr or correct that, they're never gonna change. You know what I mean? People and, gonna people gonna treat dark skin people. They're gonna behave a certain way around dark skin people. And they're a certain behave. way around light skin people. And, and you know what's so funny too? Because now we all slide into categories. Like you ever see? All right, I was talking to my man the other day. I said, "Yo, I, I'll see a person these days, right, Tim, and be like, I know what they're into by how they dress and like everything they're doing." Yeah. You know what I mean? Like everything you're doing shows me that you like Tyler the Creator and or what you know, whatever the fuck ever, whatever you like, whatever you like. Cause I'm not trying to say that, like, I'm, but I'm just saying, you know, you'll come up on me. I, oh, you like Nipsey? You know what I'm saying? You, you got the motherfucking, you know what I mean? You got, oh, okay, I see what you're doing. Like, you can, it's, it's so cookie cutter. Where, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just like where do? You, that's the thing. It's like, where do you draw the line? I think this. All right, we, the conversation. I feel like. Oh, you like Travis Scott? It's such a loaded conversation because <laughs> people don't really have, like, any real like. They just see black and kind of black out. And they see white and kind of white out. And people be like, all black people look the same. All white people look the same. They do, though. All Asians. And like... I think all people look the same. No, man. Nipsey in a, in looks like... Nipsey looks like an Ethiopian. You but know what I'm saying? Mad Ethiopians that look like him. Yeah, but it's a certain kind of nose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but mad Ethiopians look like him. Yeah, all the... You can say yeah, all his the, whole family looks like him. Yeah, black that, Sam is father. Did yeah, you, but he don't look like Ving don't Rhames. Look exactly like them. He don't look like Ving Rhames. That's what I'm saying. Like, they, Ving Rhames is from where? From New York, but I don't know where his family's from. Yeah. When I looked at it, the last, uh, last time I seen it, he was, he was born in, uh, I want to say, York, I want to say the Bronx or something. Yeah. I don't know exactly. I mean, he's from New yeah. York, though. He's from yeah, New York. No, it might be Harlem. I think it's Harlem. Oh, shit. He's from Harlem. So, but no, <laughs> but yeah. I mean, like, Ving Rames. Yeah, Ving Rames is like that you're with, if one of the people want to ask me, like, what is a Native American? I'm like, yo, this is my best example I got for you right here. Copper colored, like a certain kind of tint to the brown. Yeah. And a certain kind of texture to the facial hair, and a different kind is the nose. Is like a certain kind of nose. Like, well, it's like a it's a bad. It's not like he's the only one like that. I was gonna say, is it like I was thinking earlier, and I said, wow, that's probably why Nas is so cold in the rap game because he, he's a Native American. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are both. 
So he might be just. He both. might be. That's right. what I'm saying. A lot of people are mixed. Mixed. Yeah. And not just black and white. Everybody be like, oh, you're black and white. No, you might be American and immigrant. You might be American black and African black. Yeah. You know what I mean? You you know, and then there might be some white man in there or white woman in there that got peppered in there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? But it's like, it. I feel like you can identify. It's just, it, I think it just took a little while because the way slavery did things. Now, like, you know, where black people kind of got together and made their own communities, like, to where they have a choice like, in some level to breed with who they want to breed with. Certain... Like, the pieces are starting to get put back together. You know what I mean? Where it's like, you know, I, they were crossbreeding them. You know what I mean? Like, they were crossing the Native Americans with Moors and yeah. white people and all that shit through slavery. And now it's like, just through natural selection, people just thinking that, like, through attraction, they don't even realize, like, they're breeding with their own. And it's been enough generations of that to where you got enough, you know what I mean? You got, you got the originals kind of coming back. Like, the original... Like the the pieces getting put back together, where you have a Ving Rhames space, you know what I mean. Whereas like maybe 150 years ago, it was you know it wasn't it was, it was more broke up maybe to where like you know it just was more broke up. I think that it goes through its cycles. It, it comes back and it, it, it's like a Jeffrey. Yeah, it's like a Jeffrey yeah. goes away and it comes back. Yeah, I think if they they break, <laughs> they break up the bloodlines and and like you know try to kill as many of the men as they can and then rape the women. And so then you get like a bunch of kids that come out of like hybrids. That's like half African, half American black. And then that happens. And then it takes some time. A lot. And then like through the <laughs> through the, the the roulette of genetics, over time of the breeding, then you get some of the like the more dominant American dra traits come through because people will be breeding back with a American instead of having like you know another another generation with an African injection or another generration with. Yeah, yeah. European blacks too, because yeah, yeah. it's European blacks like Marcus exactly. Garvey. And Marcus it's Garvey, kind of yeah. Blacks and Marcus like, Garvey. Like, people, Europe used to look black like Marcus Garvey. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A long time ago, but so it's like multiple different types of black people that cross bread, and then a lot of people is like hybridized of all them things. But then it's like certain traits are like that's an American. You know what I'm saying? It, it, you can't get it nowhere else. Yeah, like that. You know what I mean? And that's, you can't get it nowhere else. That's an American black person. That you know what I mean? Like, and that's and that's why. And then you know you have all the crosses, so people be relating. You know what I mean? They do relate. They do relate to Africans now. A lot of them, because they have it in them. A lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I think I, I think the human body has Africa in it, because I do think that's where all mankind probably started. But. That don't mean it's weird, it, you know. Like I don't know, but yes, I think I think every I think even white people I think every human body has Africa in it. I, I do. I believe that. But that don't mean that you know it. That don't mean you out there know it. You might come from Native American body, but the body that was started to, to get that Native American, you know, like it's not like I don't know. That's how I be thinking. Like like it's dominoes. I think this shit. Well, how you think dominoes were made? I mean, I feel like this shit. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this shit all started here and then went to Africa. Or right? that could be that. Because there's more pyramids here in America. There's, you know I mean, it's way more here. Like they still finding pyramids in America. Like Africa, you know. I feel like it's still a dope place. But I mean, like, only reason I say Africa is because you can get everything there. Just like you can kind of get everything here, though. That's why I'm like, oh, I guess it could be. I but why is there no LeBron Africans yet? I think it has been. I just think. That they haven't been as good because they're African. I'm but, be real, and that's I why they're like kind of good. That's what I'm saying. But I think it's because <laughs> there's something that comes <laughs> with America. Like Manute Bowl was not popping, and never will be. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> because, but if he had an American mom or American dad, yeah. he, he could have been like a LeBron. Yeah, no, I, I, I get what you're saying because, but that's what I'm trying to say, which is, I don't think the, I don't think there can be any separation in the body now. I'm realizing like there's no separation, but it's separated once you get to 80 bodies. Like, it's not the same as the first body. Yeah, no. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 like, so yes, the Native Americans, they have bodies over here and they have, like that, like what you're saying. Or however, but. So it was an original formula and the shit, you know, that's like the base. And then the shit got remixed mad times. Like, you know? I just be thinking like, 
what's the land? See, I don't know. I'm not a fucking geologist. So I don't know the landscape of everything and like the soil and shit. That'll tell you a lot of shit too. You know, like this soil so rich that it's like, damn, I mean, you can't really dispute it. The Native American niggas was real, bro. And they was here and that's what it was. So I'm like, damn, what is the soil? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, you know what I mean? Because I say, I don't know. I don't know. Can you find diamonds here? Yeah, I mean you could. Yeah, Man, everything is. Yeah, and gold and shit. Oh, yeah. I mean it's it's here. I mean it just. Yeah, it's here, man. I mean. I mean, I guess it already got looted. Yeah, I'm gonna say because like, look, you look at you it like when you look at the whole shit, it's all one America. The biggest silver deposit was in Bolivia. You know what I mean? Like it's like it's like you know as far as Bolivia, Colombia. It's below Wait. Colombia. Yeah, it's like it's, it's Latin America, but it's like below Colombia, next to Peru. And then that's the thing too. How that's big all was America. America. That whole thing's America. Exactly. That's how big was whole, America in the beginning. The whole shit. How right? big was anything in the beginning? Like exactly. Like once they put the lines on it. Oh, this is Louisiana, nigga. That's Indiana. I mean, like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like or whatever. So it's like, yeah, you're right. Like I, you know, you're right. I mean, man, I would love to have a fucking time machine. That's what I know. I wish this motherfucking alley was a time machine. The closest thing we gonna get, yeah, <laughs> closest thing we gonna get is the body, because it should yeah. be like stored in the in the. It's in there. Yeah, it's in there. You it's in your DNA. It's in your blood. It's in your package. It is. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. is. You know what I mean? Like certain, like I don't know, man. It's like certain things that that's they they came out. You know, like, it it could never come out anywhere but America. You know what I mean? And I. And I think Africa's dope. I feel like they're still, like you said, they're still related. You know what I mean? I think it's... Yeah, they're still related. I just feel I like... I just think it's separate. It's I related but separate. Yeah, I, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... It's like, yeah. I, I, I mean, you, know, you know how it is. Like, kind of like, I mean? kind of like how they was making Lamborghinis for years and then Volkswagen bought Lamborghini and now it's like Volkswagen Group. This is so, Lamborghini. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's two. Yeah. But it's like them original Lamborghinis though. Was Can't good. Lamborghini engines in the Maldives. That's that's like goddamn. No wonder yeah. why it costs so goddamn much to fix these motherfuckers. Yeah, it's like <laughs> what made us fall in love with the Lamborghini was them when it was just Lamborghini. You know what I mean? And now we already hooked. You yeah. know what I mean? So now we just like I think we now it's just like you know you people love black people and the things black people can do and shit. And they just look at it like broad sweeping, like this is all it's black. It's broad yeah. sweeping. Like this is that. All this that is just good. That was a good phrase. Broad sweeping. Yeah, like. Like you know, put a blanket on it. Yeah. Call it all this. Yeah, and I feel like you can see it in the faces. Like you look at like Mike Brown, the coach from the Cavs. That was LeBron's coach in the Lakers too, I think. Right. Mm -hmm. He is a Hamite. The nose, the nose be telling on people all the time. You can see the nose structure. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. it, it's this is a Hamite. He's he's an African black. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, or, you know, if you want to call it black or whatever, but you know what I mean? Like, he's an African melanated person. Right? I was about to say, right? Once the, you know, hey, exactly. Like, it's like carbonated. Yeah. It's carbonated, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, like, I, I feel like if, you know, a lot of times the nose is exposed, people. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you got a more narrow nose, people are like, okay, you more You're European. More European. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, and, and, and more, uh, and more of a hamite, more of a, you know what I mean? If you got the fucking Nipsey Hussle Kaepernick nose, they gonna know like you, like you, True, you, that you, is you from East Africa. Apparent. You know what I'm saying? Like that you, joint, yeah, you know, that joint is quite apparent. The needle nose, I call it. You know what I mean? Like that shit is like exposing. Like, look, you can say whatever. You're an American, sure. You was born here, sure, but you not from here. Your line is not from here. Like, yeah. and that's fine. You know, and that's fine. I, I don't want you to leave. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That's I'm, not fine. saying I'm not saying you gotta leave or that Nipsey. You know? it's, it's, it's less than who yeah. he is, but because you know, it just is what it is. Yeah, like, like hawks is hawks and eagles is eagles and shit. That's it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like they like, both raptors or whatever. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I get what you're trying. I get what you're trying to put down. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, like, um, I, I I think I think we get so distracted with other shit that we stop learning. Like 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 people could learn themselves. And it could take a lifetime. They wouldn't have to ever watch TV again. 
Yeah, I mean, it's constant, man. If they started, like, learning themselves and doing everything, you'd never have to watch TV or live stream with us or any of ever again. Yeah, I mean, you make yourself yeah. available for learning. It's like never-ending shit, man, to learn. Yeah, yeah it sounds To study like, yourself and the yeah. nature of life. Nature of life, yourself, that how it intertwines, how... The Wi-Fi. Yeah. Oh, my bad. All right. My bad, y'all. Yeah. A little glitch in the Matrix. Yeah, they connected... Um, but yeah, like it's, it's definitely, you know, forever going, you know, everlasting. You got another light over there? Oh yeah. Oh wait, hold up. Hit me. Yeah. So I don't know. Like, I, <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm I, back, bitch. <laughs> like I, when I see people now, I, I hate to be like that. Like it's almost like a botanist, you know, or some shit like, you know, looking like deciphering which plant is which plant. But I be looking at people like, man. I see where you come from. I see the tribe you come from. You might not know it. You, you might, might not even know it. You might. Some people know, I think, but it's not that many people that really know. Like, it's yeah. not that many people that really know. Like, yeah, I'm an Edomite. Yeah, I'm a Canaanite. Canaanite. You know what Edomite. I'm saying? You know what I mean? When you say those words, you sound like a racist. You sound like, what did he just call me? Yeah. It's called you an Edomite. You that's, a, yeah, that's you, what you probably come from. You a Hittite. You a <laughs> you, you, yeah, Hittite. You, you a Syrian. You yeah. know what I mean? You yeah. com, you Kemetic. You yeah. fucking you know what I mean? You yeah. you fucking uh, uh, Shemite. Shemite. Yeah, uh, Yafetite. You know what I mean? All that. Yafetite. The Yafetites is like uh, yeah, like pretty much all of Asia, Russia, and, mm -hmm. and, and a lot of Eastern Europe and shit. You know what I mean? They all kind of one. You know what I mean? Like they'd be. It's a lot of mixing though. Even with white people, it'd be like I can see. Even with white people, white people yeah. are mixed whites. Yeah. A lot of them be mixed whites. So, yeah. It'd be a Scandinavian mixed with an American white. Like it'd be, it'd be, or it'd be. It, but yeah, nobody cares. It's like my dude. <laughs> who's the dude? I think he's from Sons of Anarchy. The one white dude that looked like a straight gorilla. Oh, primate. Looks like a primate. He, yeah. um, his his nostrils. That's my man. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, he been in movies since the nineties. Yeah, he been in shit. But he got that nostril structure. I think it was like, in the last Boy Scout, I think. I yeah. forget. I forget. His nostril structure is like a West African's nostril structure. It's totally ancient. You know what I mean? And but then you look at sometimes you look at like you can look at like half the motherfuckers on the show Top Boy, but y'all y'all are East Africans. Y'all nostrils is not is you know what I mean? More narrow and more you know what I mean? It's not the same. Yeah. And like it's just a different image, it, but people done crossed over and fucked each other, you know what I mean? West Coast G's <laughs> West Coast G's have sex with East Coast G's, <laughs> these G's being women. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it, so people now I feel like it's like a lot of mixed shit, you know what I mean? Like OG Bobby Johnson. Straight more. Straight more, you know what I mean? To me, the, the texture of his He does have a you know what I mean his features the way like, his nose go down, yeah. he look like the, like, you know what I mean? I don't know. Glenn you, Plummer is his actual name. Shout yeah, out to Glenn Plummer. Yeah, Glenn Plummer, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like if you look at, yeah, if you look at just, look at celebs and then look at their facial structure, you'd be like, what is, they're not all looking the same. Ving Rhames don't look like Denzel. You know what I'm saying? It's like something changed. Why is that? Yeah, I mean, it's because the genetics, you know what I mean? Motherfuckers is from different tribes. And it's not like all Native Americans is one tribe. I'm still saying like some is, it was motherfuckers from LA that's the original LA tribes you know what I mean like when LA was, when America was a Negro nation it was a tribe that was in the southwest that was Negroes out there that, you know what I mean the southwest. they had tribes out there it was tribes on the east coast you know what I mean and then it was war because motherfuckers they know W symbolizes they don't just stand for west side you know what I mean yeah <laughs> You know what I mean? But it's like, it's such a funny topic because there's not that many people you could discuss it with and say like, yo, that, that dude right there is is probably from this part. He's probably like a Choctaw. He, this dude probably a Seminole. This dude, you know what I mean? He, he could be Rancocas. This dude could yeah. be Manhattan. He could be, you know what I mean? Like, and, yeah. and really look at the facial features and do the history yeah. and then look at this shit and be like, this is a Canaanite, man. These, these is not... The people that's parading around like Jews is Canaanite. They're not really. They they're don't. not even. Yeah. That's why it's called Jewish, though. Cause it's not it. It's ish. Like like let's show blackish, right? They were, oh, it's, what color was that? What color was that car? You saw? It was like a bluish color, like blue, like bluish. Yeah. Not blue. <laughs> <laughs> like bluish. But like, see, like blue is in there. Deep, like blue is in there. Mm. 
Like, 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 yeah. like, like God damn, we all get to God damn. Yeah. You know, like. But I mean, I feel like it's just tough to have the conversation without people getting offended. You know, if you can't. Because you can't. Because they people automatically people are like you just mean black people. I'm like, yo, no, there's yeah. so many types of black people. Yo. Yeah, yeah, man, and like that's why they're not all on the same page. That's why they're not all on the same. You know, you you've met plenty of uh, black people that you'd be like, God damn, like this is this is not like any black person that I grew up with. That I know. You know what I mean? But the clone Tyrone. They black as fuck though. But they black. You know what I mean? Like it be like that, and like it's it's just a different tribe. You know. And then what I mean? you meet a white dude, and you say, "Damn, you just like what I thought," right? Yeah. Like like you be like, "God damn," you like just like what I thought and shit. And then that's when them niggas, the, the one you just said, "I just like you thought," and the and the what you was talking about, click up, and they see how the world moves. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I mean, I, like 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 oh, you guys are. Oh, is that does that is that the expression same difference? I mean, yo, the dude, the white dudes, the white dudes that I feel like a lot of them that be, you know, um, transcending the whiteness or whatever. When we just look, because you know, people, you know, you look at like white as white, but a lot of people like some for some reason like we. Don't even look at them as like a just a typical white dude. Like for years, I felt like a lot of people. I mean, I think now a lot. All right, when a lot of white people get older, you can see that they was Jewish the whole time. That that happens. You a know lot. what I'm saying? You can that see happens it. Happens a you, lot. You can see it, right? But then sometimes, like like because you look at like Robert De Niro. Mm -hmm. For years, I felt like people kind of didn't even look at the mobster type dudes as white dudes almost. They wanted them to be Italian so bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like nigga, you Jewish. <laughs> They just, yeah, they be Canaanites and shit. You know what I mean? And then it'd be in the name, too. Like, a lot of the Italians, they got the Eni, like Mancini and shit. Yeah. They be the more original Sicilians, but the ones with Sicilian. the... Sicilian. Yeah, but the ones that be O, like De Niro, you know what I mean? Yeah, Pacino. Yeah. Pacino. They be... <laughs> nigga, they... Yeah. Let's not get on you rappers who like the way these niggas' names sound, and that's why you fucking picked it. Yeah, Pacino, De Niro, you can, this this lets you know what type of niggas you dealing with. <laughs> Yo, if y'all watched the last interview, Tupac's last, you interview. gotta watch Tupac's last interview. I think it, you'd understand. You'd understand a lot about things in life, and 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 it's the it's one of the greatest interviews to ever exist. Especially this conversation. It's one of the greatest interviews to ever exist that a rapper ever did. Now you look at Tupac. His dad is Native American. He feels... But his mom is more he African. He feels African and Native American. He feels like he's a mix of African and Native American. That's probably why he was so big, though. That's probably why he's so dynamic. That's probably why he was so explosive. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you can see it. And a lot of people is like, oh, you really both, you know what I mean? DMX, maybe? Yeah, I think the cheek the cheekbones of DMX is definitely like more native and shit. You know what I mean? And like, How native. I think you know what I mean. A lot, at this point, a lot of people have mixed over at some point in the last. I mean, four hundred years. They've been mixed twenty times over. <laughs> but but this is my Fuck, but that's my point is though right. So you had <laughs> you had slavery and you also had like segregation and like a north south separation, and it kind of kept black people in different areas. But now it's at a point where People, you know, they could just fuck. They could find a chick on Instagram, fuck a chick from Atlanta right now. You know what I mean? And that's who they end up with or something. You know, you never know. And so I feel like it's just like a natural gravitation towards bringing back the original tribes. Yes. And I think, yes, and totally, so I feel totally. like a lot of the people, and it took some time. It took some time, but I feel like it's at that point now where you're starting to see it. Like these, because like people be having African in them, but it be dominant. The genetics be dominant. American Indian mm -hmm. black. Oh, totally. Whereas sometimes dudes be having a Native American in them, but it'd be like dominant African Moorish black. You know what I mean? It's there, but it, that's not the dominant trait. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's and not I, the dominant trait. But you see it like, in, like I hate to be like that, but you see it in, in, in animals too. You know what I mean? Whereas like, damn, you took all, you know, you got these genetics from the dad and these genetics from the mom. Yeah. It's all still in there, yeah. but this is more dominant. You look more like this one. Yeah. But you might not act like this one. Exactly. You know, and so it's like such a clusterfuck too at the same time. It, 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 and that's when you got to realize God is real. To, to, to make all of this shit be. To make, 
Yo, God is real, man. Earth is real. I think Earth is my, maybe God. God is real, yo. Just to fuck y'all up right now. I'm sorry. God is real, yo. We talk, yo, I talk so much crazy shit. But maybe that's why I talk crazy shit. Maybe that's why I do what I do because I, I really believe in God. I really believe that I'm not, you know, the, this Earth, man. Like, I think I think we kind of have a hard time dealing with that, knowing that we're gonna be gone and this shit's gonna still be here. Like th this shit, you know, it had to it had to be like this to make us. That's what I be thinking. This this earth we get to travel on and move around and 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 and, and hang on, you know what I mean? Hang on, right, right. It it has to be that ill to to govern us, to house us. So I be like, damn. You know, I just got, you know, I just got to do my part, try to keep my shit right, do what I'm supposed to do, but whatever. You know what I mean? Not, you know, but the point is, is what if you're a body inside of a body inside of a body inside of a body? Everybody's like, wait, hold on, what do you mean? Well, guess what? What if the earth is a fucking big body? What if one of the regions, all of the regions, certain regions make up its arm? It's right arm. Certain regions make up its left arm. Certain regions make up the head. Certain regions make up the inner midsection. Midsection is so motherfucking important in the body. Um, certain regions make up the leg and make up the other leg. I guess ain't that what Allah? Arm, leg, leg, yeah. arm, head. Yep. So, 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 and Jehovah, if you spell it out letter by letter, is a body too. So if these regions are sick, the earth's going to, it has to do what it has to do to survive. The earth has to do what it has to do to survive. Not just you. The earth might say this, you niggas out of control over there. I, I need to wash you niggas out. Y'all been fucking me up too long. How, how long can I take this? How long can I take this cancerous thing hitting me in my leg all day? Guess what? You, you need a Katrina. That's like the collective body. <laughs> you need a Katrina. You need a Sri Lanka. So so what if the earth has its own agenda and you do too, but you you know you're aligned with it? You know what I mean? Like like the menstrual cycle, like the, the you know what I mean? Like all this shit. Water going through your body and blood going through your veins. So then there's that's when I say, damn, it gets even deeper. I don't even really want to get to that type of thinking sometimes. Because you can go on, you know, you, you're in the rabbit hole. You, shit. You know, damn, my, my, shit, the oil in my car flows like the blood in my veins. Yeah, I mean. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now, what does the blood in your veins flow like? If there's a simulation off of you, which is a car or whatever. Oh, shit, maybe it's the... Uh, sap on the trees. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, yeah, like, like There's a blueprint. You know what I mean? Shit is real. There is a blueprint for the human body, and then there's the shit just got remixed. You know what I mean? Like people who started like putting extras on it. You know what I mean? Putting like changing it. You know, about to oil up that. Mutating, <laughs> mutating the uh, the original blueprint. You know what I mean? And like just for the conversation to keep rolling, Jay Z not a mainlander. You know what I mean? He made the blueprint. Kanye made. I think Kanye is probably a mix of African. And, I think he's more of a mix. And I feel like Jay Z is more of a. a or Islander like, yeah, immigrant. Yeah, yeah. Like not a mainlander dominant. Yeah, it might still yeah, be in there somewhere. Yeah. No, you he was probably born here. But the generations of the plant. Okay, if a plant is born, right? If a plant comes out the ground, right? Yeah. It's it's it harmonizes you, with the place. And when you catch it at this point, that's not the point it's finished at. It's it's still going up or whatever yeah. it's doing, right? So he, niggas can be born here and all of that. It's just I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm, I'm five generations deep in gangsterdom. Like that's what he told yeah. him, right? Yeah. You know, like it's 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 gener it's generational. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean, yeah. No, I think mean, like if you're looking at plants, you know, I think it's a great example. Like when the plant exists, survives through a season. All it is collecting information from the area the whole time, and that's getting pushed stored into the seed so they're like the seed is ready for the next season for it to come back and so it's like harmonizing every every generation harmonizes more and more with the land 
that it's in or supposed to, you know what I mean? It's supposed to. You know what I mean? And like humans is plants basically, you know what I mean? Just a human plant. And um I I yeah. Just, yeah, I just feel like a lot of people um and that's why I think things fuck us up. Yeah. More than like like this, liquor. Um but yet shrooms and weed, you could do that all day. You could do that all day. But right. do like liquor and meth and shit like that. And I don't do that. <laughs> but I do I drink my liquor or whatever. Smoke my weed. But think about how those things, Percocets, uh, all of that counteract with your being. They, I mean, really bad, though. They counteract with your being really bad. You know what I mean? Liquor probably the most acceptable one. You Liquor's can, probably the most acceptable. One. I feel like if you look into entertainment, though, like it's plants is in families, too. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if you look at entertainment, Rick Ross got the, the narrow nose, more nor, more Moorish nose. Meek, Meek Mill got the, you know, they got the different te facial texture. Uh, Jay-Z, um, I feel like they all more like African and Moorish influence. They might... It might have been a Native American in there at some point, but it's, I, I don't. I it's really, more of an African. A long time ago, if yeah, at all. Yeah, more of a probably African. Yeah. Shaka Zulu type looking motherfucker. But here's the crazy thing, though. And I feel like they've really pulled together, though, like that. And well, it, here's, it, here's what's even crazier, Ted. Did I tell you my little theory? And, and correct me if I'm wrong out there, live people. I could be wrong. But what I thought was, do you think that's ironic? My brother, I, I, didn't, know he, I didn't know he was even going to bring... Meek Mill and Rick Ross and them up right now. You look at their nose structures. It's not the same. And everybody's shit's not the same. I didn't even know he's gonna bring them up. But if I'm not mistaken, isn't Rick Ross's name William Roberts and Meek Mill's name Robert Williams? I don't know. That's crazy, though. I just... If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. I think it's Rameek. Rameek it, Robert or something. I, I thought it was Rameek, right? I don't it's know. Rameek, right? I don't know. I really don't know. I thought that you told me that a long time ago. I don't know, though. I really don't know. I don't know their real names. You know what I mean? I know. I know. Google that shit. Look it up. Y'all yeah. gonna look it up. Look it up. But but I think it's very like similar or something like that. Like like it's it's no coincidence is what I'm saying. I just feel like a lot of <laughs> a lot of times when you see like prominent. Blacks in America, or people call that the people call blacks melanated people. They don't. They, they, I feel like they try to do everything they can to not fuck with Native Americans because it's like if they let them win, it's over for everyone. But then, meanwhile, Native Americans the only ones they ain't never been slaves. They, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. A lot of them. Meanwhile, Native Americans ain't the only ones, only race of people I think that have never been slaves. Yes, yeah. I mean, it, you know, that's why I feel. Like, <laughs> but that's why I feel like Americans, certain Americans, have certain attitudes because they don't come from slaves. You know what I mean? Like, that's why niggas be ready to buck. You know what I mean? Niggas be ready yeah. to buck the system. Yeah, they don't come from slaves. Whereas some people was <laughs> bred to be slaves for hundreds of years. You know what I mean? Whereas like genetically, some Americans, some blacks, they come from. That's what you come from. They come, work. They come. And some of them you yeah, come from work. And, and, some, and some of them come from not ever being a slave, so they never know how. To be that, it's not even in them. And see, when you try to convey that, I could sound really arrogant right now. Yo, he's out there saying he come from work. No, the the idea. You have to get the idea, the ideology, the idea. It's not about what I just said or whatever. The idea of saying, I'm not gonna prosper for me or mine. I'm gonna wait till till this guy gets his, and then I'm gonna get my. That's never been the Native American way, never. That's why niggas got um, resorts. What it, uh, um, the, Are you the, talking about the casinos? Got, you talking about those? Native that's why Americans. they. Well, well, I'm just saying, like even them, they're they're further generations or whatever. But the point is, is the ideology is is we gotta have some for ourselves, period. Even if we don't have everything, even if we got to use your gas or do this, we got to have something for ourselves, period. Whereas most people, what? Get a house in the burbs, get a car, right? Get a car note, have a mortgage, have a blah, 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 blah. And I'm sure they got that too, but I'm sure they pay it to each other, 
right? Is that how the is that how the shit works on the um, reservations? Hit me up. Let me know. Um, I think they may be tax exempt from some things. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, are they uh, keeping the money in them? Se- like, like what are you? It's another conversation. I, but the point I'm trying to make too. is, is they're the new, they're the new ones though. The old ones, nigga, they dead because they wasn't gonna be slaves. Yeah, no, that's that's the thing. <laughs> no, but that's simple. That's what I mean. Like, it's an identity. <laughs> it's a lot of identity theft though, because they're Siberians. They're not from here. A lot of them. You know what I mean? Most of them. They not. You know what I mean? Some of them is like crossbred and got some of that Aboriginal in them, but most of them is not. You know, most of them is from from Asia, and they can't. And that's why they get the benefits because. All right, so like you look at the, the Seminole Indians, right? It's blacks, obviously black Seminoles, and then they have like the Mongol face Siberian Seminoles, right? And so they were like, they were like, yo, we we want all the funding from the government. We don't want any of the black Seminoles to get any money. So we're gonna, you know, we will not let them uh, be able to apply as part of the tribe. You know what I mean? Because like that's the whole thing with sovereignty. It's like you need to like to be sovereign. Like, so, to, like sovereignty is like a relationship. I was say, that's that's a real thing. Sovereignty. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, if like you have to have you on your own in order to, <laughs> but you not nah, like you but got nah, you yeah. like I'm saying like to be sovereign, you really need a nation to be a yeah, sovereign yeah, nation. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? That, you need it. Nation. So like the Navajo Nation, like they got them them uh, reservations. That is actually another country within America, technically. Technically, it's on a, paper. It's another the way they yeah categorize it they're a sovereign nation they're the Cher- sovereign you, nation you the cherokee nation you the fu- yep. these is nations they're sovereign because it's hundreds of them that made and they it. refuse to be slaves and they created a contract with the government and part of that contract in the beginning was to run uh the negro americans out of power and that's why they got the casinos and the tax breaks and a lot of that you know what i mean a lot of what they got is because they went into agreements to go because you look at like the French Indian Wars and everything. Oh, yeah, it was wars, you know. What I mean, it was they was tribes was warring War. with each other, and you see, yes, tribal, wars. yes, Siberians and Mongolians coming from the west over the top down from Canada. You got all the Europeans coming in, the yep. Spanish coming in, the French going coming down, the French and Spanish coming in from the south through the Gulf of Mexico, from Florida, and all of that. And they all did trying to get the Negro American out of power, every one of them, because they knew because it's like America is like the head of the body. And if you get that, then you can the whole body gonna follow. And and different regions make up the arm, different regions make up the other arm, different regions make up the leg. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And like, um, Some I day. think that midsection is Harlem. <laughs> Word up. <laughs> yeah, I'm I, mean, to, I, I really think that midsection is Harlem, New York City. You know what I mean? But and I know there was a lot of Native Americans running around fucking, you know, Africans yeah. and shit yeah. that motherfucker, you know, you know what I'm saying? I, like, think, I think New York and Philly is really the original Greece and Rome because it's a Rome, New York, Syracuse is a Greek city, Syracuse. that's a Greek city, yeah. Philadelphia is a Greek, Greek city, city. Yeah. that's, the, uh, to me, I feel like that's where it's the trace, the trail is there, I feel like, to the like, trail, they yeah. be laying it too, yeah. like, to let niggas know, like, look, we was killing niggas, we want you to know, because you got, like, Memphis right, <laughs> on, the, right <laughs> on the Mississippi, because yeah. Memphis, the Mississippi is <laughs> really the Nile, you know yeah. what I mean? And well, I remember you was telling me that, I'm like, damn, so, uh, you know, I don't really know much about all that. I don't know much about all that, but my brother was telling me, he said, yo, you know, the Nile was, uh, the, what, the Mississippi River? No, the, yeah, the Mississippi, Mississippi River. River. Yeah. And I said, well, damn, well, I believe it. I guess it, I guess it has changed names. You know what I'm saying? I guess one nigga did own it and did do some shit and did, you know, manipulated it and, you know, who know? I, you know what I'm saying? I, um, we went, we, we went past that now, didn't we? In, in Egypt. Yeah, yeah, like remember yeah. we was going over there. Like yeah, we, we was going went, over the yeah, shit. Yeah, we man. went over the Nile several times. Cause several I, times. Because I was in Giza. Yeah. You know, I was living in Giza when, when you came to stay. That, that, that's a big motherfucker. That's a scary big motherfucker, though. I ain't going to lie. Like, God damn, that motherfucker. Yeah. You're going to get killed. Don't jump in that motherfucker. You like, dead. Yeah, the Nile, is, dead. The, Nile is, <laughs> the Nile is really long, but the Mississippi River is wider. At, at that part. It's big as it's, shit. It's wider and deeper, and then they got five other rivers that flow that into flow it. flow into it. To where if you count that, and I don't know why you wouldn't count it. It's all one thing, kind of. Why but, wouldn't you count it, You right? know what I mean? The Tennessee River, motherfucking, uh, the Missouri, the 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 Ohio Valley River. It's like five tributaries that make it huge, you know what I mean? And that's why the people, in that when they read the Bible, they say, like, oh, the Nile is supposed to have five branches. And that's why people say the Nile is the Mississippi. Wow. 
Yeah. And that kind of makes sense when I think about it. I say, well, you think about the Great Lakes. And then you think about these names. Chicago. Yeah. Chicago, right? Chicago, yeah. Like, right? Or mm -hmm. Wyoming and, and all of it. Missouri and all of this. Like, this is all Native American shit. I mean, you look at... <laughs> like, 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 what you think about it, right? Yeah, you got the Black Warrior River, which is in Alabama, right? It's not far from the Mississippi. They got all those mounds and shit, those temple... Like, those... Bottoms of the pyramids because they destroyed this shit, buried shit. Indiana. So, yeah, so you got like this. You got Tuscaloosa, Alabama, right? It's named after a dude that was like seven foot five, and he was supposedly a Native American dude that was seven five, and they it, they it's on the Black Warrior River. So I don't know how anybody thought that this was a fucking Siberian or a Mongolian. You know what I mean? Honestly, like you know, I, I feel like. It's just, you know. I do believe that, like what you say, though, like people do got this, this never, fire in them. They never, travel. They'll yeah. travel. You know what I mean? Like people will travel. Yeah. You'll have people go over here. This one will come over here. You know, people travel and shit. They do. They, you know what I mean? Especially when you weren't using drugs. Yeah. Especially when you weren't using drugs. You was turned up. And it was, yeah. And you know what I'm saying? And people were slaves then, and they was going places for work. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like, just like now, like, oh, I got a, got a job over in Texas. I'm going to go to Texas for six months. <laughs> yeah, the I'm same thing. Shit. Yeah, like. Yep. Same shit. Same shit. It, uh, well, it, you know, I always say that. I always say that, man. I always fuck with people with that when I say, man, slavery ain't in. Are you crazy? They keep it keeps evolving. It's just, it's just evolving. It's just mm. nice now. Instead of getting your ass cracked, you just get fired or whatever. They done built the shit done built up so much that they don't gotta crack. They don't gotta hit you with no whip no more or none of that. They just say we're gonna take your car away. You can't pay the shit or whatever. So now you come to work. Like like slavery is alive and well. Yeah, now we just slave. <laughs> like, yeah, we slaves the other shit that is attached to all of that now. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you, you don't we don't be wanting to let shit go. So it'll be like, you know, we'll be slaves to our own you know, emotions and attachments. Everything. So yeah. Slaves to every fucking thing. Like, you know what I mean? But yeah, man, like I feel like if you really look into it though, if you really look at Hollywood, it's they rarely throwing up um they, they they always because it's a status thing, I feel like they look at like if you see it now, like a lot of times with like Nigerians, West Africans, they a lot they typically I mean you might get younger ones that are like cool with black Americans culture i guess or whatever you want to call it but like like um well you know rap yeah rap tore so yeah. much shit up yeah. yeah i was gonna say but like like deep down they always a separation like nah yeah. that's the bottom american blacks we they, they're in america they're always public enemy number one yeah so we gotta separate ourselves from them to have a better status and that, and that's pretty much where i feel like it's bled into everything you know what i mean like especially hollywood i feel like Hollywood, if you look at a lot of the black Hollywood people and people in entertainment, a lot of them is not mainlanders. They're not from the mainland. They're not from, you know, the continental U.S. They're from somewhere else or crossbred, you know what I mean? And it's like, they pretty much be like, you going to play ball, you know, yeah. and or not, you know what I mean? Because if you can go down the line, it's not that many. Like, I feel like a lot of them be like... Niggas playing naked ball. I yeah. Heard, I heard about that shit. <laughs> I feel like yeah, <laughs> I just feel like a lot of them a lot of American blacks you probably end up on drugs you know what I mean you end up being Marvin Gaye you end up being Sam Cooke you end up being yeah. you know what I'm saying getting you, murdered and yeah, shit yeah cause you know it's, I don't know I feel like it'd be usually and it's like a deep <laughs> or it, alcohol yeah and then it's like a tribal war that's like unconscious too like Eric Holder he probably been killing Nipsey for like a thousand lifetimes now. They probably been killing. They each probably other. been killing each other for t ten lifetimes. Mm -hmm. and shit. Yeah, like he been calling him a snitch since eighteen hundred. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's been the same song. People don't know because we just the trauma. You know what I mean? They just be blind. Man. They go into amnesia mode. You know what I mean? Just kill or survive. Kill or survive. You know. And you know it, it, it's funny because I think a lot of that is just brought on by drugs. Yeah, I don't think any of that would be brought on so crazy if it weren't for drugs and alcohol. For sure, I think, I think, I think it could still exist. Of course, somebody could get angry. I want to kill that motherfucker. I just don't think it would be so much. 
if it weren't for drugs and alcohol. And here's the crazy part. Let's get into drugs and alcohol and shit. As far as drugs that people know that got the ball rolling, if you ask me, they weren't, they weren't really like American. They weren't, they weren't really like American. Like, like, I don't, you know, I love my Jamaican niggas and shit like that, but they really helped that crack trade real heavy. Um, yeah, you know, heroin was like an American drug, but nobody was really like busting in your house off the heroin. Like nobody was like stealing the siding off your house to get heroin. Nobody was like kidnapping your, you know, kicking your house, kicking your door with your mom in there, everybody. And then also heroin's probably so powerful that it's sitting your ass down. You can't do that. You on the nod, nigga. You the last thing you doing is kicking in the door, right? But then, but then, when, the, when, the, when a lot of foreigners brought like like coke, like crack, and you know, like I, I think, I think, you know, the Bahamas, place, you know, a lot of places had a lot to do with getting like crack, and you know, like it, yo, crack specifically is what I'm saying. Um, there's other drugs and shit. You you've had methamphetamine for years. You've had speed. You've had all of it for years. All that shit's the military made that shit, mm. and then used probably certain people because I don't know. It's just crazy, man. I don't know. Like you, just, you know that you know a lot of, and I don't want to blame it on just like foreigners. Like I don't want to be like your foreigners did, but foreigners had a really big hand in creating drugs in America. They had a really big hand in it, is what yeah. I'm going to say. I mean, I think people just were doing things appropriately for a long time, and then it became something else. Yeah. Right? Just like, you know, I think everything was appropriated, you know what I mean? Uh, and, 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 you know, like, like yeah, you had alcohol, you, you know, because they was bootlegging, you know, you had alcohol, you had heroin. I think those was the main alcohol, heroin, and, and don't get me wrong, they're terrible. They're both fucking terrible, right? But like, they're not the type of drugs that make you go kill and shit. And can, you know, you know what I'm saying? They weren't. They weren't. You know what I mean? Go back and look at Detroit in the '70s, as to now or to past post crack era or whatever. Go back and look at Compton in the '70s. What? These were flourishing neighborhoods, yeah? And mad people was on heroin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and, it, and it really fucked with the way people was breeding. You know? And then now you're going to do different things. You're going to probably get loose, do different things. Um, and then you're going to also be mixing blood. Yeah. Because in the beginning, you didn't know that you couldn't just take that spike out and then just give it to your boy. It got blood, his blood dripping off it. And then you just put it in your shit. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you thought, oh, it ain't no big deal. Just wipe it off. And guess what? It didn't bother you that day. It didn't. The first time, it didn't bother you. It just bothers you down the line. Or your kids. Or your kids. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean? mean? But like, it really is like pockets though, like of people and then like certain people be having affinities for certain drugs. Like, like it's like you say, you keep saying like they clone Tyrone. It's like you got your cousin, your cousin Ronald Spencer, Manzi. Shout out to Manzi. Yeah. Right? He looked like a lot of dudes from the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? well, like, well, see, this is my thing. I don't think that's a, I don't think it's a crazy thing when we say that no more like um nah, i mean i think everybody looks alike i think all white people look alike i think all niggas look alike i think all asians look alike i think all to me just at 40 years old i i, I do yep yeah i mean and I guess what light-skinned niggas i know you're gonna be, i look like jakeem no i look like ludicrous when he cut his hair i look like this yep i believe that yep yeah i mean in a yep. broad sense yeah <laughs> yeah in a broad <laughs> sense wrong but the devil's in the details like you know what i mean it's like as far as you see them small like there's small alterations like why somebody's six foot and why somebody's five eight. Oh well mm -hmm. that part 
Like, and not even the facial yeah, structure. I mean, but that's like all of it. Like, why are your eyes wider than this? Like, yeah. why why are your, I guess, why your cheekbones like this? All white people look alike to me. And, and all Asians look alike to me. And all niggas look alike to me. I don't, feel, do. like, I don't feel like that at all. Like, LeBron looks like Delroy Lindau. Yeah, I mean, me. people look alike. Like, you know like, what I mean? Yeah, like, people like, definitely come from certain, like, the same veins, but I'd be like, man, and, 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 Japanese and, and people fact, don't you, look like Indonesians. And matter of fact, you when I mean? say that, I don't mean they all look alike. I mean, like, they see, when we use words, we sum shit up. Like, you'll say, you fucking punk. But really, you want to say mad shit. You fucking punk because you blah, 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 da, 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 da. And then when you left out the house the other day, you something, something. Or you, but, you see what I'm saying? But we summarize shit. That's all I'm doing. So that's what I'm going to get. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But yes, sure. I think all niggas. I mean, from a I distance. Think, I think all niggas look alike. If I yeah. see, if it's 20 motherfuckers on the corner, that's dark skin. On, yeah, if it's 20 dark skin motherfuckers on the like corner, <laughs> they're all, it's just a blur at yeah. that point. And the and yeah. same with 20 whites. Yeah. If I, I can't tell who's that, the new actor. But when, I, when you say, yo, you bring up Sarah Jessica Parker in this one or something, but, uh, they all look like But that. if I look at in each one individually. But if I take the time. Yeah. I can see differences. You know what I mean? I can see. I take the time. That they're from different parts of the grapevine. You yeah. Know what I, mean? Still, I get what you're saying. I get the same difference. I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying when you say that. I get what you're saying. Because if you take the time. You will start noticing the difference in the features. You will start noticing that this person's art, eyes are further apart than that one's and shit like that. You're right. You're, You're right. right. But I, I'm saying like as far as the drugs thing, I think certain people have a proclivity be, to certain drugs because their genetics, you know what I mean? Like they'd be like more prone. Because certain parts of the country, they're just not doing certain drugs as much. You know yeah, I mean? and yeah, so other yeah. part, and then it's like, and then you, but then the people that do, you be like, yo, you look kind of like the motherfucker that was doing that in Philly. You know what I mean? You know, you look like this motherfucker I ran into in Philly, but we in Sacramento right now. But it was, you look just like this motherfucker. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, man. Like you know, and then that binds us. You know, the alcoholics line up with each other. The weed niggas will line up with each other. The shroom niggas, you know, the psychedelic niggas, they gonna line up like. I, I think, you know, the body is the real start. Just like we were saying, how the earth is like a body. Your body is the real start. Cleanse that motherfucker. Clean that and then see what you think. That's what I think. Right? Yeah. You got to clean that motherfucker, then see what you think. See what you think. Just see what you think. I can't. I don't know what you're going to think. You might think that, you know what I mean? But start there and shit you know what I mean I think right that yeah. makes sense right yeah but I, <laughs> but I think like and I think that for the most part you know um, people that have people that do have a soul they, they, the same formula is gonna work for them like as far as like cleansing and detoxing and getting back to themselves like generally speaking it's gonna work whether you dark or light it's gonna work oh, it works across the board yeah you know what I mean like and I feel like across the board that's the one thing we all across the board. Like, yeah, and I, I just feel like, um, as far as like, uh, man, the, the the dieting and the detoxing end of it, I feel like yeah, certain people are just gonna have different different battles because you know different they're starting from different places. Yeah, they get different mutations in their system. You know what I mean? They, mutations in the system. They're gonna who have, knows what you got to get rid of, and this one, you know what I mean, or or you know. Or include, you know, who knows what you got to include and get rid of or whatever, you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, that's the thing. There's no chart. But but there is, though. I mean, there is. No, no, no. I was going to say that. There is, like, somebody held on to this shit. Who? Wait, wait what do you mean? Like, there was, a, there was an archetypal person that held on to this. It's not like it ever fully went away. Oh, that's why we have the blueprint. Yeah, that, but that's my point. It's like... Yeah, yeah. God. The, the, yeah, for sure. <laughs> By God. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to G-O-D, nigga. <laughs> but, no, like, like, but, I'm saying, right. but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> the fucking... That was funny. He was, like, he was like, you know what? You right. You know what I mean? That might be God. That yeah. might be God. Yeah, no, for <laughs> sure. Like, no, 100%. But I, <laughs> I'm saying, like, as far as it, God buried it in, in the hands of uh, a select few of select people, people that yeah. managed to maintain that 
uh, that knowledge like yeah. yo don't eat that fast yeah. eat eat this this is good for you don't eat this is do better do somebody that. had to hold that on for it to be here today somebody the whole time they they was doing that and their kids was doing that and they didn't you know I mean that's what I was gonna say somebody I think it was a bunch of people yeah it was somebody yeah. always doing that yeah they and, I, a bunch of and it was like because like how do fucking crack broke it yeah, all down bro. how do you have all right for, <laughs> I'm telling you they killed say, it all man. they say you got 44 million drill music is gonna be the next that shit's crazy that's the next crack they, they say it's 44 million <laughs> black people in america right i don't know i ain't counted all of them but that's what they say right and i feel like how do some for whatever reason come into the knowledge of like oh shit i, I need to fast and i need to do this and yeah I, like how do you even i need to stop eating dead shit you know what i mean like how, how do they because it's more in them you know what I mean? It's more there in it. Like there's there's something in there to build off of. You know what I mean? Whereas like, you know, somebody might be just totally a clone, like you know, a caveman person, and it's not built into the system. They gotta like kind of get exposed to it and then like copy for a long time and then remember like enough of themselves, I guess, to where they're like, okay, yeah, I see how this shit works, and a lot of them will never do it. You know what I mean? But for like, cause like. You got 44 million black people, but for whatever reason, like, some of them knew that this shit was right in their heart. You know what I mean? And then that's the, the gift and the curse. You know? I uh, think of being kind of like that, though, too. I think the gift and the curse is is you're, you're, you're on planet in moment body will be saying, like, I could, it, what? Shit ain't bothering me, but it is. It's bothering you down the line. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's where, like, oh, that's where you say, uh, right there, you always say niggas is arrogant. Or mom, you know, mom used to say that. Niggas is arrogant. Born arrogant. You know what I mean? And I used to be like, what? What you talking about? But now I think about it, I'm like, I don't think it's arrogant. I think it's, it might be ignorant. It might be, I'm so used to this that, you know, I'm so used to this. Like, like that, that, like, what? What? Ain't this how it is? Like or something, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, like, yeah. like what? I mean, I, I've been, I've been eating Popeyes, and I, what? I'm the best football player in the nation. What are you talking about? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, they like, just like, don't see the brick wall. Coming. Yeah, you like see you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but then that's funny. You say brick wall, because that's what's happening. You're building that inside your colon. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting. You see what I'm each saying? Each meal's like one brick. Everything we say and do is what we are. Like it's it's. But like you know, I heard Sebi. When I first heard Sebi, I I I wasn't on that shit. At all. I was like, I was definitely eating vegetables and fruits my whole life and shit like that. I was that. about to say you you had a good appetite. You, don't get done. You was a lot better than me. Don't get me wrong <laughs> on that end of it. Like yeah. it's not like it's not like anybody had to be like, yo, you need to eat more greens. Yeah, you was like, <laughs> you ate it all. Like, yeah. like you you ate the fruits and the the meats and the vegetables and yeah. you know you had a crazy appetite. I used to be like, man, how come I couldn't be like this? Yeah, and, and <laughs> like. And so, like, I feel like um, it hit me, you know, Sebi was saying the shit he was saying. I was like, everything he's saying is true. And I don't even, I kind of don't have to listen to what he has to say anymore. Anymore. But I know, I, I want to know. What, let me just go deeper. Yeah, let me know. Let me get the details. Yeah, let me get his life story. You know? <laughs> let me get the details. You know what I mean? And, and I feel like, you know, some people, whether it was because they did some work in their last lifetime or it's just buried in their genetics and they just... They just more original, so they know, you know what I mean? And like I think that like some people they're gonna, you know, they that's in them. Like it's so it's so much more in them and I feel like like bro, like I don't know, man, like it I feel like American blacks is the only ones that can really do it, man. As far as like bring it to the world. You know what I mean? Cause like Ethiopians been vegetarian forever, bro. You know what I'm saying? In <laughs> Indians been ver they, yeah, they they dark as fuck. Yeah. Some Indians they've been yeah. they've been vegetarian forever, yeah. but it hasn't caught in the world. Yeah. If Black Americans do it, it'll catch like like I, wildfire. I, I, <laughs> and that's and, and that's what, that's so funny because I think that was coming out of a movie, yeah. a movie that I was about to say, and that's why I say I think Harlem is the is the midsection of the world. Yeah, I think it might be. Yeah, the Algonquin Indians and the Manhattan Indians, man. I think it might just be. reincarnating over there, probably. Yeah, I think Harlem is the midsection of the world. But you know what I mean, 
but yeah, like that's that's what I feel like. That that it's like innately in them. You know what I mean? Like somewhere it's like in them. Like <laughs> Detroit is like a fucking kidney or something. I don't know. Like it's some it's some integral too. Like, like that's what I be thinking. Like these are like these little Harlem, these these Oaklands and these Detroits and these Harlem. Like you know, or maybe they all won to be yeah. the midsection. You know what I mean or something. But whatever. I don't fucking know. But but yes, yeah. I I'm on you. I'm on, I'm I'm, pick, I'm picking up what you put there. Like I'm just saying, like because like you got like uh, whether it's Sebi or Doctor Africa or Phil Valentine, you know, even Bobby Hemmings, fat ass. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I, I hope he's still alive. You know, I, like there there was something that was in them that like when people heard, like heard them, they felt that inside themselves and they immediately changed their life. You know what I mean? And I feel like. That means it was always there the whole time. And so, like, I feel like there was always somebody, like, in America, when everything was falling down around us in this place. And yeah, there was somebody saying, yeah. nigga, what the fuck? Fast, <laughs> fast and only eat yeah, this. Fast, don't, chill. Don't eat that. Yeah. And somebody was actually living that life. Yeah. And then so, like, when, when there was an opportunity to, like, rush the polls and get it out there again, it was, you know, it, it, it took a long... It, yeah, like, it, it took some time to, like, get enough of you know to get it into different factions and you know whisper it in motherfuckers for like 60 years and to where now it's like this is standard you know what i mean that this is probably better than what people doing you know what i mean i feel like as far as like the black american mind if you talk to them 20 years ago they not even acknowledging that as like this is better whereas i feel like a good portion of them now know like even if they're not eating correctly they know like I should probably be listening to what they be doing or something like that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely more knowledgeable and shit now. I just also think, though, back then they were on the, the drugs that hadn't taken its hold as much. So they were always moving. They were always working. They was always doing something like that. So that's what clouded them. Like, I'm still doing my shit, blah, blah, blah. Or, or I'm still, you know what I mean? Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, like for instance, I, I mean, I still see it. Don't get me wrong. I still see it with people and shit. But think about a time in like 1972 and you rolled down a Detroit block. Yo, that shit was probably so full of life I can't that you never seen nothing like it. People running, bikes, girls jumping rope. Um, it was probably so full of life. Like Harlem, you know, like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I'll be like, uh, I think, no, nah, they didn't know, but they was just more act. You had a better work ethic. These niggas get, the drugs yeah. make the work ethic whack. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so like now you got a bunch of spoiled niggas running around yeah. everywhere. You know what I mean? When really you used to have to work for something. Yeah. You had to build it. You had to, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, so now when you come home, your dad like, all right, motherfucker, some, some, blah, blah, blah. Um, we're going to go out there on that porch and we're going to fix that up. Oh, shit, I didn't even feel like doing that, but we, that's what we doing right now. <laughs> yep, yeah. that's what we doing. But like, and, it, and, and the drugs just made niggas lazy. Yeah, for sure. That's it. But like, you know what I mean? There was somebody that had to hold... So up. much not laziness like this years ago. Yeah, no, no. People actually you know read mean? books and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, but like, like... Somebody, somebody had to hold on to it and embody it, cause like I swear, like it be times, you know, I I come into like the details of history or details of certain information, and then bring clarity to what I already know, and I have conversations with people like you know elder people in in the game or whatever in the in the fucking knowledge I guess you could call it in the knowledge game, and then like really just Pharaoh, you know what I mean? When I would talk to Pharaoh, you know what I mean? I would be like getting information from him and like doing my own research and shit and like compiling shit and then I would hear some shit from somebody else or see a meme from somebody that's totally not in my fucking stratosphere and they saying something so similar and I'm like there's always like a remnant yeah, oh yeah. there's always like a remnant somebody that's like like maybe not in every hood but somewhere like maybe you know might be like two dudes in New York that was just holding it down but you is that mean? because our organs are the same yeah, but I mean, like, it's always, it's like you can't completely wipe the knowledge out. It gotta be embodied somewhere. 
It gotta be like stored somewhere. Like our noses might not be the same, but then again, our livers might not be either. But I'm just saying, are our yeah. livers the same? Or are, like, that's what I be thinking. Like, I think it's core. I think that's the core energy that permeates. Like, like you, what you just said, how come I'm feeling it? Cause until somebody's born with three livers or two hearts, you're gonna do the same shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I'm just like, saying, you know what I mean. I don't know, but I just feel like it's always, it's always a small group of people that make it through all of the trauma and the collapse and everything when the world resets and everything, and they hold on to the shit and they embody it, and then they slowly disseminate it back out, and people pick it up. And some people is like, depending on the way where they picked up from the last, you know, well, lifetime or whatever. Well, that's when you realize only the strong survive. That's when you realize. Shit has to go out with the old and with the new. Yeah. Period. You'll die. That's what's gonna happen. But like it's, you it's know what I mean? It's all just like it's like always a motherfucker like that. That's like I, I got the knowledge itself. I'm living this life, and I'm gonna tell my kids, and then my kids' kids, and keep this shit going, keep it alive, because yeah. it's my responsibility to myself. You know what I mean? And God. You know what I mean? Somebody's always doing that to make it through. You know, like yeah, like yeah. like they say, yeah. like Jesus be like. You know, you got to make like a camel going through the pen of a needle or whatever. Like, that's how narrow the path is to heaven and shit. Yeah, yeah. It's like somebody always does make it, though. Somebody always going to do it. Yeah, somebody. It's, 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 somebody's got to do it. It's a small group, yeah, but yeah. it gets, they get through, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And it, you know, and everybody else is able to have you a die. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> you die. Yeah. Like, like it's, it, yeah. you know, I think, I think the world is moving exactly how it needs to. This is perfect design. Yeah. But like, I'm saying like. Just like it's like that, it's always some cannibal motherfucker somewhere. <laughs> Y'all, you got adversaries, Ad adversaries. Yeah, and that motherfucker is somewhere like just moving around unconsciously, ready to eat your pinky toe. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And I think yeah, it's like that is just gonna be there. You know what I mean? It might not be that many cannibals, cannibals right now. It might not be that many. You know, I think it grows and shrinks throughout the years, just like. The knowledge grows, like somebody, people embodying it. Like at some point, it's mainstream. Everybody just embodies it. Then they take it for granted, and then they all fall. That shit ain't cool. No and then it falls off, and then it's only like five people holding it down again, and then it's all fucking decay. Yeah. And then, and then you know, then we rebuild and shit. And I think it's just been a back and forth of that for a long time. Yeah, if you can even put numbers on it, you can't even put numbers on it. Yeah, you can only put spaces on it on times like 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 moments like like gap you know chunks yeah like it, 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 i don't even know what you you know what i mean Cause like, like we said like eric holder and nipsey been killing each other for who knows how who long, knows how you long. Know what I mean? because you can, like if it's infinitely until who they break the cycle and 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 let's be real about that let's just we, we look we went way deep we went into some other shit but about that subject this is what i think and i believe and what I've had to deal with in my life and what I know, right? And the, the, thank God for the little experiences I've had or whatever, right? Nipsey tweeted right before that, thank God I have strong enemies or something, right? Didn't he say something like that? Yeah. You know why he tweeted that? Because he, he'd been dealing with Eric since they was kids. And Eric been a problem since they was kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 and that can be like, like, you see what I'm saying? That feels like lifetimes. If you know the motherfucker since you was 12, and you here y'all are at 30 fucking six or 33, and it's still a goddamn problem, kind of like a feeling every time. That feels like lifetimes. So yes, they probably been killing each other and and battling with each other for years. And and here's the crazy thing: Eric Holder probably wasn't even like. Like he probably had he probably had his moment. Like in the night. He probably was the nigga. Like before Nip or something. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't ones. know. But to do that, to do the shit you did and blah blah blah. Y'all been bad this ain't nothing new. Why Nip to eat that? Why Nip say, um, thank God I have strong enemies. You know why? Cause he knew the only person probably capable is a nigga like Eric Holder. Or a couple other niggas. And he knew it. He'd been dealing with these. It's been happening over and over. They clone Tyrone. So, so right? What I'm saying is, is like, 
in my life, I've dealt with that too. I know exactly what that's like. I know exactly what he meant. I know exactly he was he was in fear. Nip was in fear a little bit. Of that guy probably. That guy probably did other shit to other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, would you think that was his first rodeo? Doing that? That was his first rodeo. And he gonna go to life with... Nah. Nah. You know, that wasn't his first rodeo. Probably. If I don't know him. I don't know Nip. But if I had to guess, and if I had to go off my own life experiences and shit like that, We all know that. It's like when you go into work or something and you got, you, you're got at work and, and you know this person like don't like you and you know it's a problem. But yet y'all don't, y'all haven't fought. Y'all haven't done none of that. But you know it. Like you know it. You know that this, this is going to be my adversary. You know, Like you know it. And I think, I think um, that's where you get the, uh, you know, the ego. That's where you get humanistic shit to me. Like that's, you know, humans kill each other. You know, humans want to kill everything. That's, that's not human shit. Kill everything, you know. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, yeah. like it's, I, see, I could go in there. Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Tigers don't just run up and just try to kill you. If you're not, if they're not hungry, <laughs> they'll just run across the earth. If they're not hungry or feeling threatened, you know what I'm saying? They're not going to do nothing. Humans want to kill everything. We're killing everything. But, um, Why is that? But you know like, I mean? yeah, yeah, man. On on a on a lighter note, I guess. Yeah, like I I didn't probably say exactly. I probably didn't convey what I wanted no, I to think say. You, I mean, right? If they didn't get it, it, I don't know. If they'll ever like get you know, what I mean, who cares? But what I'm trying to say is, I'm not. I love Nip. I love his music. I love all that. But I do. I've been in the neighborhood, bro. <laughs> I'm from the neighborhood. Yeah, like, nah, like, 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 I know how the shit works. It doesn't so. matter because they, he like, known him before. That was all he before he was Nipsey Hussle. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been in. I've yeah. had adversaries that have been my adversaries since I was 12. Yeah, I'm I'm about to be 40. Yeah, I mean, it is, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It like, is what it is. It, you know what I mean? Um, I was gonna say though, like the way they got the game geared is like they want to get young dudes. Because they be like honestly ignorant, you know. If, oh, <laughs> it's a young man's game. If you reach a, if you survive a certain amount of years, you can't really even go back. You can't act. The ignorance not genuine. It's hard. It's hard to maintain it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard you look maintain. sad, kind of trying to be ignorant. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like imagine Nas trying to come on the show and being like, like you know, saying some of the things that saying he might. Some of the shit. It would just be like, oh, when I was tw when I was twelve, I went to hell for snuffing Jesus. You know what I mean? Like at this point, if certain rappers that are that have survived long enough, if they say certain things, you'd be like, oh, come on, this is what you're doing now. You know what I mean? You saying this now? This is what you saying? <laughs> you really know what you're saying? You really know what you're saying. And like. I just feel like uh, it's geared a certain way to like, so yeah, young people, and to make the artists really vulnerable and isolated because they're gonna be <laughs> balls to the wall ignorant because they're genuinely ignorant. They're young enough to be done. They got mad energy. They really coming from like a trauma uh, lifestyle a lot of the times. A lot of times, you know what I mean. And it's, I feel like it, it really crash dummies. It puts the old. <laughs> it, it it just further. Expands old versus young, it, and that's a big war. Old versus young is a big war. Just like black versus white, you know, the race wars, and people talk about there's an internal war, there's civil wars, and yo, a big war, like Shook said, a lot, a lot of years ago, is the war between old and young. Yeah, old and young, and man and woman is probably the original, probably the oldest wars. And then we got like you know. All these other shade wars. But. Shade wars now. Now you got fucking rape road wars. You got fucking work wars. You got fucking, you know. But it's such big industry. You make money off of these war. Man, those wars make so much money. When you're running around and you're doing shit, you make, you know, you make money by going to these wars, going to these jails, going to these houses. You know, you make it. The monetary system. I just wish I could be around for the six motherfuckers that created that. 
It's probably like six of them. I think he said eight. Three of them or something. I think he said like eight men have have the wealth of like four billion people. I think it's like eight men. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I I wish I could have been there when they said. Because because what I think is somebody saw it. The it had the spark. A spark always occurs. The impetus. Yeah. And I wonder who the first person was like, oh my God, I'm about to sell that. Like, I'm about to push that as an idea. As an idea. As a... As an idea. And why Why can't I? You know, nobody's saying I can't do it or whatever. But like, you know what I mean? I wonder who the first person, like, you know... Who's the dude from the Smurfs? Do people know that? I don't know. The fucking dude in the Smurfs who, I forget his name, it's some old crazy name. But I remember when I was, you know, young, getting into my like book stage and shit like that. And I realized, wow, they named the Smurf after the, after supposedly the first person who's ever had a, the first book ever written. What's his name? You've heard it. Yeah, have you ever looked, you probably, but anyway, y'all can probably look it up or whatever. The first book ever written, it's not the Bible. It's, it's, the first book ever written is a, supposedly about this guy who was just fearing death. And it's all about him fearing like death and shit. And it's so funny because the Smurf's name was his name. But I didn't know that. You know, I'm watching this, I, I, not watching this, but the Smurfs was on. In my, you know, in my childhood, coming up, you know, I hated the Smurfs, actually. I hated the fucking Smurfs. But, sometimes you'd be so bored, you might just keep it on. Let me watch this shit, it's on. And I remember hearing this dude's name, and hearing it, and it was this wild name, I forgot. But later on, I found out, like, wow, that's the guy's name. That's supposedly the first book that's ever been existed, ever. And I was like, wow. Anyway, I don't know, I was just talking about... My, that, that, that was something all else but I think the point I'm trying to make is is who had the first ideology to sell something like to to monetize something you gotta create lack you have to like create people having less somehow you gotta like cut them off from resources or like find people that have or that are cut off or because how can you sell somebody something if they have everything? Well, I was going to say, was it maybe something that, you know, like, 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 okay. Like, you're hanging with your boys way, way back in the day and shit. I don't know how I'm, where I'm going to go with this. Y'all are all swinging on trees, playing on trees. There's no TVs. There's no none of that. So you better go climb and run and do shit, right? So you, so you, you, you and your three boys is just seeing who can climb the highest, who can do whatever, right? And then a tree like breaks. I don't know. Maybe that's not a great example. I don't know. I'm just saying who had the first spark of like, I can create the blah 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 that they need for the blah blah blah. Everybody needs it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then you just, like, put a price on it or whatever. I guess you say, yo, I need two apples for this shit, bro. I need two apples <laughs> every time you give me this shit, bro. And next thing you know, you popping with all these apples. Like, I don't know what it would be. You know what I mean? But I'm just, I would love to have a time machine. I would love to have a time machine. Like, to literally see it. Now, we already can see it by if we got cleansed and look at right now. We can see then. We yeah. can. Yeah. But fuck that! I, I, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. just want to see it, like 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 I'm watching a movie, like you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking about if you really, cleanse, if, if you, you cleanse, cleanse long enough, yeah, it will be like that. Yeah, though. It'll be like that. But yeah. you know, I mean, when it comes to like value, man, value is something that is itself. You know, like like you know, I remember one time uh, Pharaoh was like, "Gold is gold because it 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 knows it's gold." You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the same thing, like, kind of yeah. like, we're, we're people, I guess. They, like, yeah. know, they know that, they know, they know themselves. It's so they, they, they operate in life as such, and yeah. it, and it gives them value. Yeah. And, like, you're right. It's, it's breathing life in the shit. It's almost like what you're saying. Like, it's, 
you gotta breathe life into it. Like, like, so if you, if you exactly, if people just was lumps on the log, like, uh, what am I doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, then they would just be lumps on the log. Like, I, I guess, like, when people was themselves back in the day, they recognize when something is itself. They're like, oh shit, this is a different kind of metal. This is a different kind of animal. Yeah, yeah, it's different, a different kind of animal. You know what I mean? That's a great expression. Like, what, yeah, like, whatever the tool or thing was, they look at it and they be like, this was crafted by somebody that really knew something. You know what I mean? Like, there's there's some knowledge of self in this. So, like, you know, when you grab the silver coin or the piece the piece of silver out of the fucking river or something, you're like, this shit look different than the rest of the other metals. You already you know knew it. Like, yeah. You already knew it was something that hadn't been seen or something. Yeah, and I, I, mean, and I think, yeah, like, that's, I guess that's how it went because, like, everybody knew themselves. Yeah, they, now, you already they, knew it was There's no discrepancy. Yeah. They're like, oh, shit, this, like, I know me, so this, this yeah. means something because I'm not... I'm not communicating with this. With the, what the no, fuck is this? Yeah, yeah, like for some reason my interest is peaked. Yeah. I'm communicating something about yeah. it. No, you're right. I think that's I think that's totally accurate. You know what I mean? Because if you didn't have anybody to tell you, you know. And here's the funny thing: you might have at a certain point. It's time because see, time nobody nobody looks at time as like you know elastic or like it stretches or like they like it's ongoing. So what I'm saying is, is there was a point where you did find that silver and you had what? An uncle or something right there. Like, that's silver. I've seen that before. Yeah. But you see what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah. Yeah, like, no, there was a time when they probably, you know, the first people who were finding that, you know what I'm saying? And shit like that. What, is, what the fuck is this? Is this a moon rock? That's probably what they called it. Yeah. Is this a moon rock? Like, <laughs> You yeah, I mean? shit just be it be pronouncing itself because it's so itself, it's so together inside of its structure probably like it's just complete. Anything that's complete, you are gonna be like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, shit don't be all together. You'd be like, not even. It just be like, just kind of like uh, static. You and know that's what I mean? funny you say that because that's like what I was saying about like the family. Think about back then. Yeah. You, 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 you like all your uncles are like walking this trail with you and shit and getting and input get a lot of input you, you know what I'm saying and they're like yo no that's silver uh, little jack wire paw or whatever the fuck <laughs> your name is little turtle shell <laughs> or whatever right so yes shit was tight knit closer once you get a further away from the mother y'all man y'all gonna y'all gonna have a new life now you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 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 you know what I mean? Like, it's like, and I don't even mean mother figure, like, figuratively like that. I mean, whatever the nucleus is, or whatever, you know what I mean? Like yeah. what you were saying. The core. When it's more complete, it's complete. It's like this. And then when it go like that, you got a whole new life now. It's like when you see weed, though. I mean, I mean, I'm not even, I ain't smoked weed in over, like, a year, almost a year and a half. Yeah. But, like, weed. About to smoke me something right now. We're going to cut. Well, well, right, yeah, a little bit. in a second, yeah, <laughs> I was saying, like when weed is like bound, the flowers is all tight. You, oh, you know what I mean? But when the shit's all frayed and all, I hate that. <laughs> I hate that weed, and that's usually indoor or like um, greenhouse and all that kind of shit. They want to pass off that outdoor. Be like, nigga. <laughs> I mean, <see, laughs> when it's yeah, when it's done right. I see, when it's done right. I be seeing like indoor, indoor that's like them popcorn nuggets though, and it, you know what I mean. And it, it don't break up the same. And it's, it's, it's not. It's uh, so manipulated. It's so curated. It's so curated, like and 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 when I say curated, have, I mean like doesn't have any real. Uh, yeah, like it, it's fluff. It's like, fluff. Yeah, like like when you ate fluff, the fucking yeah, like it doesn't have organic light rays going through it you know what i mean like you know there's like eight rays of light from the sun that's hitting the motherfucking plant and if you like synthesize light in the fucking inside it's not organic light you know what i mean it's not even structured the same not even the same you know what i mean so when it hits your blood when those crystals hit your blood the thc crystals is not even they're not built from the same light and so it, you know i think i think people you know they they could, you know, they don't care. Yeah, no at this more. point, it's whatever. It's whatever. On, we, on so many other drugs. Yeah. Right? 
Cause, cause people forget we on all the drugs. You know, we on the cheeseburger drug. We on the fucking pizza drug. We on the fucking, you know what I'm saying? Um, you on, you know what I mean? You on, you know, like. But the, I just wish, man, like, like for instance, listeners, viewers, whoever. If we, I just wish we could have brought you some of this weed we used to smoke, man, back in like probably ten years ago. Honestly, like it's easy ago. to not smoke. Now for me, because I'd be like, "Oh, that weed's not even around." Oh, it's fucking way easier to not smoke when yeah. you get rid of weed. Like you'd be like, "Oh, oh." Yeah. But I mean, like, it's not. <laughs> it's not like I'm getting no shit from the side of a fucking cliff that was like really grown organically and done right yeah. by some motherfucker that did it for forty years and knows how yeah. to take care of outdoor shit. Yeah, you know, it ain't like that no more. No, nah, it's totally uh, yeah. fast food. Yeah, like it's totally Chipotle. Yeah, which is Mexican Subway. Let's end on that. <laughs> All right, then. Later on, y'all. Smoking butt. Patreon.com slash Taylor Dare man. Get that money. Yeah, man. Go get that money around <laughs> the corners, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>